Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on Windows function at Centrilla. By looking at the job posting, we can see enormous demand for SQL developers across the globe. From finance to tech companies, all of them deal with massive amounts of data. Therefore, these industries need to process and extract meaningful information from the data. SQL is basically used for accessing and managing data in relational databases. One of the advanced features of SQL that makes the data analysis more powerful is the use of window function. So guys, in this video, we are going to uncover the fundamentals of window functions that are going to help you understand various aspects of how they work. We will cover everything from what is a window function to different types of window functions, providing clear examples and practical use cases. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. So, guys, before we move on, just a quick info, guys. You can boost your career with the Simply Learn's data analytics course in partnership with Purdue University and in collaboration with IBM. It features master classes and follows an applied learning model designed with real life projects and business case studies. So guys, before we move on, I request you that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. So let's get started. So guys, let's start with what is a window function? So guys, a window function performs a calculation across a set of table rows that are somehow related to the current row. This is comparable to the type of calculation that can be done with an aggregate function. However, window functions do not cause rows to become grouped into a single output row. The rows retain their separate identities. So you'll be wondering what exactly is an aggregate function? So guys, an aggregate function performs a calculation on a set of values and returns a single value. Common aggregate functions include, like we can have a sum, we can have an average, we can have max, we can have count, Okay, so these are some of the aggregate functions. These functions typically used in conjunction with group by clause to help the rows to have the same values in the specified columns into the summary rows. For example, the sum function can be used to calculate the total salary of each employees in a department. So how? Let me show you a command. So suppose we can write select. So suppose there is a, an employees table, we have a department, okay. So from the department column, say sum, say we can take salary as argument, okay, salary field, and we can use alias as, and we are going to return the total salary. from employees and then we use the group by clause. So guys, in this case, the result set is grouped by department and each department's total salary is calculated, resulting in a one row per department. So guys, you'll be wondering what's the difference between aggregate function and a window function. While both aggregate and window functions perform calculations across set of rows, but they differ on how they present the results. Aggregate functions reduce the number of rows in the result set by grouping them, while window functions maintain the individual rows and add the calculated values as additional columns. For instance, guys, using a window function to calculate the cumulative sum of the salaries. So suppose, we have this command, okay, and we have this employee table, same. So suppose select MPID, okay, and here we have the department column, then we have the salary column, then we are using the aggregate function all over here, and that's salary. This is over. And in this, we can take order by. So this is our clause and we can take MPID all over here. And we can use the alias as, and in this, we are trying to find the cumulative salary. 
from the table employees. So guys, in this example, each row retains its individual identity and the cumulative sum of the salaries is calculated and displayed for each row. This allows for more detailed and flexible data analysis without losing the context of individual records. So guys, I hope so, you would have got a brief idea regarding this. Now let's move on and understand about what exactly is a window in SQL. In SQL, a window is defined as a set of rows that are related to the current row. The window is defined by the OR clause, which can include partition by, order by, and rows or range, okay? So these are the certain things. So we have all over here, partition by, So let us discuss each one of them one by one. So guys, in a SQL, basically a window is defined as a set of rows that are related to the current row. And the window is defined by the OR clause, which can include partition by, which basically divides the result set into partitions to which the window function is applied. Next is order by. So guys, order by defines the order of rows in each partition. Next we have rows or range, which basically defines a subset of rows within the window frame. Now, let us discuss what exactly is a function. In SQL, a function is a predefined operation that can perform calculations, data manipulation, and formatting. Functions can be scalar, returning a single value, or an aggregate, returning a summarized value for a group of rows. Now, let us discuss the different types of window function. So guys, So guys, our first function is aggregate function. We have already discussed about aggregate function, which includes sum, average, max, min, count, and basically it returns the summaries. Next, we have the ranking function. So guys, ranking functions are a type of window function that assigns a rank to each row within the partition of a result set. These functions are useful for the scenarios where you need to rank rows based on a specific criteria. So our common ranking functions include the row number, which assigns a unique number to each row, starting from one for each partition. Next, we have the rank, which assigns a rank to each row within partition with gaps in the ranking if there are ties. The third one is dense rank, similar to the rank, but without gaps in the ranking sequence when there are ties. Next, we have entile n. It basically divides the rows into the partition into n groups and assigns a group number to each row. For example, guys, using rank function to rank employees based on their salaries within each department. So you can type the same command like 
select employee id department salary okay and then you can use the rank over partition by department order by salary in the descending order and you can use the alias as rank from the employees table so guys this was a pretty simple example so you can try with the rank function now let us move on to our next function that is the value function value functions are the window functions that provide access to the value of a column from another row in the result set these functions are basically useful for comparing values from different rows common value functions include lag basically lag provides access to a value in a previous row within the same result set then we have the lead which provides access to a value in a subsequent row within the same result set next we have the first value which basically returns the first value in an ordered partition next we have the last value which basically returns the last value in an ordered partition so guys let me show you by using a lag function we can get the previous employee salary within each department so guys as you can see all over here we have taken select statement and then with employee id department salary so these are the column names and here we are using the lag function which is a kind of a window function okay and we have taken this salary and one we have used a clause over then we have used partition by department order by employee id as previous salary and here from the employees table so this is how the window function is generally used so below here what we are doing basically so with the help of lag function we are getting the previous employee salary within each department now guys consider this following table okay so we have the column name employee id department and salary from the employee table all over here now we are going to understand what is the syntax of window function so basically first you apply the window function then you take an over clause and here use the partition by then you have to use the partition expression then you can order by and you can do the sort expression and finally you conclude it with a frame clause let us go through example to understand the same so suppose in order to calculate the cumulative sum of the salaries how we are going to write the syntax so guys all over here you can see that we are using the select keyword then we are selecting the employee id department and the salary okay and then we are using a aggregate function which is a type of a window function and then what we are doing we are taking this column as our argument and then we are using over all over here okay so if we see the syntax guys then here partition by okay then here is a partition expression so after over what we are basically doing we are using the partition by so here partition by is your order by in the same place and we are taking employee id then you are writing the alias as basically calculating it as the cumulative salary from the employees table so this is a sample example of how we are achieving the window function using these syntax now let us try to understand how you can use a window function with the partition by so guys as you can see all over here in this scenario we are selecting the employee id the department and the salary and we are using the aggregate function sum and then we are using the partition by keyword okay and with the department this is our expression and then we are doing the order by clause with the employee id from the employees table so this is how the overall syntax for this is i hope so you have got a brief idea that how we can apply the window function with the partition by keyword so basically we are calculating the cumulative sum of salaries for each department with the help of window function now let us try to understand the next part so guys with the help of select statement we are typing the employees id department and salary we will be using row number as our window function over partition by and department order by salary description and then we are taking alias as from the row number and from the employees table so basically if you see this code so it's similar but here we are using row number as our window function let us take one more example now guys in the next example we are going to learn how to use a dense rank function basically what we can do all over here we can select the required columns that is employee id department and salary and then we can apply our dense rank function over clause and you can use the partition by by department and you can use order by through the salary description from the employees so this is how you can apply the dense rank function so guys basically dense rank function is a ranking window function which is used to assign rank to each of the row within the partition of the result set 
And you can also see all over here that there should be no gaps within the ranking values. So this function is basically useful when you need to find a dense ranking of the rows without skipping any rank numbers when there are any ties, okay? So guys, this is a sample description which I have given for dense rank function. So a similar example we have used all over here. So guys, this was a short example. I hope so. You would have got a brief idea regarding this. Thank you guys for watching this video on SQL's window function. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.